Hello everyone, I have quite the announcement here regarding the whole copyright thing going on on YouTube. Uh, you know how you're usually able to only appeal up to three rejected disputes at a time? Well, recently, that seems to have been lifted. I don't know when it happened, but it seems to have been lifted. Here, I'll, I'll show you over at the monitor here. Basically, see my copyright notices here? Well, these were all rejected appeals here. Like, like, I mean, you know, like, I, like they got claims and then I, up, uh, I disputed them. They rejected them and then I am now able to appeal them again. Normally you're only able to appeal three at a time, but as you can tell, I've got a whole, whole bunch of appeals here going on at once. And look at this, look at this here. I'll click on Includes Copyrighted Content. And see, it's in blue. I can actually appeal the rejected dispute. Before, this little I thing would say you're only able to dispute up to three at a time, as I said. And they even updated this dispute content ID claim thing here. See, it says how to appeal rejected disputes down over here. Hey, you go over here. This is, if you've already disputed a content ID claim and feel it was mistakenly upheld by the copyright owner, you may be able to appeal a decision in the same place in your video manager when you, where you disputed the claim. You may now see the option to appeal. There might be restrictions that affect your ability to appeal, such as the date of your appeal. You also need to verify your account if you hadn't already done so. Well, I, so far have not had any issues and as far as I can tell I can appeal as many things as I want to and before this would say that you could only appeal up to three at a time so it appears that this whole rigmarole is gone but uh, you can unfortunately still get strikes like uh, let's uh, there it is um, yeah, they may still issue a copyright takedown notice, but you can still counter that. But of course, if you have a whole bunch of stuff going on your account at a time, like maybe you don't want your account to potentially get taken down or you don't like if you don't know the risks of whether or not a company will constantly strike you or something like that, it's so you gotta kinda play around with it, like maybe appeal only one at a time to see what a company will do. But like with, in the case of me, I know that Nintendo, when I do my appeals of their rejections, they will uh, just release it on the next time over. I don't have to worry about it. So all of these and on new Super Luigi U, I will uh, be content ID cleared eventually. Uh, I don't know if this is for everyone either. Like, for all I know, this is just a varied test thing. Like, you know how they sometimes give those sorts of features to only certain kinds of people? But chances are, if one person has it, everyone's going to have it in the future. So I would check on your account at your copyright notices page. I'll have links to all the stuff in the description here. And you'll be able to see if you'll be able to actually appeal more than three at a time. Um, and also another thing is if you don't want to appeal, but you don't want ads to show on your video, um, this is kind of what I've been doing for a while now, but I've, I've wanted to appeal all these at once, but I haven't been able to because of that three appeal restriction thing. But if you want them to stop putting ads on your video, you should just age restrict the video. This is what I've been doing for all oh, these for a while now. And yeah, it's... It's not the best, but uh, what I do here um, to sort of kind of circumvent that is redirect people to a different place that has um, the, the video embedded. That allows people to get around the um, uh, age restriction, then they can go back to the video and comment as usual. But yeah, you go to the link in the description and then, or at least that's what I've been doing. I've been linking to the videos where I have them embedded, in this case in a bunch of Tumblr posts on my Tumblr. Uh, and that gets around the age restriction if you're too young to view that. But the idea is just to get rid of the, the ads on the videos. Because if you didn't know, Google Ads, yeah, they, uh, they have malware. And yeah, not very safe. So I, I sort of did the lesser of two evils here on my, uh, my video page for a good while now by age restricting them because I didn't want people to get viruses from my videos so 
I figured that I could just redirect them. It's a, it's a slight inconvenience, but far less of an inconvenience if you got a virus. <laughs> Uh, oh, and also make sure that you know the legality of what whatever copyrighted content you're using because it might not actually be legal for you to use whatever you're using. Like, a lot of people claim fair use on things that aren't actually fair use, so you're going to really want to look into that before you do any appeals. Uh, but in the case of, like, Let's Play videos, there's a thingy here that I'll also link to that a lawyer said game companies may not have a legal right to claim a cut. So, yeah. And uh, with all these copyright appeal notice forms uh, that you're going to have to go through here if you have a lot of claims like I do, uh, like, 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 let's just go to one right here. It includes copyrighted content. I'm going to click on it. Then I'm going to go over to um, appeal, reject the dispute. Then you then you select one of these things. Uh, yeah, you click. Yeah, see these things right here. You have to do these one at a time. Yeah, but you see, it says you're only allowed three open at a time. But as you can tell, that hasn't really been the case. And sometimes I get glitched. Like one time, I it, it said I had three open. I it said that I had three appeal. I mean, eight appeals. When I and but I'm only allowed three open at a time, but it still worked after I refreshed. So, so I think they're they're just starting to implement this because, yeah, it's still slightly glitchy. But this is certainly better than nothing. Well, anyway, you fill in this field and stuff and stuff and stuff like this. Uh, yeah, it's it's lengthy, but here I got a little shortcut for you. Once you got. This well, actually, you should probably install this before doing the field. Get one of these form filler things. This one I got for Firefox is called Form History Control. Seems to have good ratings and whatnot. So basically, once you install that, then you go back to this and you fill it all in like you would you know, like you would normally do, and then you go here, continue, and then file your appeal. Then you go to another one of these, and then you go up to your form history control thing on Firefox, wherever you put it on uh, the browser, and then click fill fields with most recent entries. I'm not going to click that because, well, that would give all my information out online. That's probably not a good idea. <laughs> so, yeah, um, that's basically about it. So, I'm surprised that YouTube actually changed something for the better. This is genuinely awesome. I mean, <laughs> it's difficult to get YouTube to do anything about stuff like this. And with the whole content ID thing going on for the longest time and companies abusing it like, like Nintendo here, as you can tell, <laughs> um, they just basically keep abusing it because they can abuse it. You know, because people are only able to appeal three at a time. Well, that's changed now. So <laughs> companies are going to have to find some less shady ways to make money on the website now, you know, like the regular users. <laughs> so hopefully this is not like a glitch or something like that. And all these are going to be, um, you know, it's all going to be reverted. And my last three uh, appeals are going to be plopped back over. I mean, as the only, as the only appeals that are going on and not having all these appeals that I would like having going on. And believe me, I will be appealing every single one of these throughout the night as quickly as I possibly can because I've been living with this for such a long time and I'm really, really tired of all these copyright claims. So I figured as long as I have the opportunity to, I am going to try and get off as many copyright claims as I possibly can. Because as I said, I know how Nintendo reacts to my claims. They first reject my appeal on the, uh, I mean, my dispute on the content ID claim. And then when I do my appeal, then they revert it every time. I haven't gotten a single strike from doing this. So as far as I can tell, this is no risk for me to do. But I guess even if my channel does go down, since I can now appeal an unlimited amount of um, rejections at one time. I guess that would include strikes as well. So I, it's likely a non-issue if my channel were to go down for two weeks. So yeah, it, it seems like everything is good now because, well, well granted, you're, you shouldn't probably even get strikes at all because, you know, 
strikes aren't really what I consider, or I should say what people should consider a community of violations this like thing because it it's more like a disagreement between you and a company. Like a company thinks your thing should be down. Well, maybe you believe that your thing shouldn't be down due to the legal stuff that you know regarding fair use. And well, I don't think companies should be able to dish out strikes regarding that, you know, just a disagreement like that. I mean, if if they really want to do something about it, take people to court. <laughs> Like, what? Like they wouldn't be going through this system right here if they really, truly believe that, um, you know, it was actually worth taking down people's videos or, you know, having all these claims on people's videos. It's it's probably most likely for the money, though, and that's that's the thing here that... I've really got to mention that you, if you have a bunch of claims, you and you think they're all fair use, absolutely counter those suckers for as long as it takes. Because as long as companies are able to do this, they're just going to keep abusing the system, and it's just total bogus. So yeah, just try and deter them by countering them as much as you can, and. Yeah, that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you later.